what's up YouTube? Um, so we have reached over 50 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Uh, big things coming up. Um, so as promised, I'm going to let you guys know um, on the internet where I decided to go to college and where I will be attending classes in the fall. Uh, and we're just gonna do like a process elimination thing with um, like half drank water bottles. Um, all will be recycled after. So let's get started. The first college that I removed or eliminated was Fordham, Fordham University. <clears throat> so why did I get rid of Fordham? Good question. I got rid of Fordham uh, because I got like an application fee waiver for them. So I applied, uh, got in, but I don't know. I think their school is more like they have more business stuff and I didn't get as much money as I would have liked from them. It was actually still super expensive for me. Um, and they only had like a math sciences major or something, like just some, something general that, uh, that wasn't right for me. Okay, moving on. The next college that I removed was Rutgers. Why did I get rid of Rutgers? Uh, good question. I got rid of Rutgers uh, because it's like my state school pretty much from New Jersey, but I didn't, well, yeah, I got good, I got decent money from them, but it's too big of a school for me. Uh, I got into their engineering school, business school, and just uh, liberal arts, arts and sciences school. Uh, but it just wasn't for me uh, when I compared it to other colleges that I, other offers that I had. Um, and it was just a little bit too big. Okay, so then the next college that I removed was Virginia Tech. Why did I remove Virginia Tech? That is the question. So pretty much I just removed Virginia Tech because well, for one, they were like really um, expensive for me. I didn't get as much money as I would like. Uh, and I kind of compared it to Georgia Tech and Georgia Tech uh, as an option was just better for me. So I felt like I could just get rid of Virginia Tech because um, I had Georgia Tech for that kind of uh, option. And then the next college that I removed was University of Delaware. So for UDEL, I got a lot of money, but again, uh, it just didn't, just wasn't at the same type of school that, or like level that I wanted, or type of school that I wanted, uh, like these last four options. Um, they had a really good engineering program and I got a lot of money from them, uh, but it just didn't compare when I had the uh, other offers. So then it kind of came down to Northeastern and West Point, or Air Force Academy. Northeastern, West Point, and Georgia Tech. Um, All right. Sorry, the camera. All right. So, I basically came down to the two service academies, Air Force Academy, West Point, and the two civilian colleges, Northeastern and Georgia Tech. So it kind of came between being in the military or not, um, but they are all great schools. Um, Georgia Tech, I think, was ranked the highest for the major that I applied for, um, for mechanical engineering, I think, or no, for computer engineering. Uh, but I just didn't really want to be in Georgia that much, I don't think. Uh, I kind of like the Northeast better. Um, so I guess you could say I got rid of Georgia Tech like that. Um, then it came down to West Point, Northeastern, and the Air Force Academy. Um, Northeastern, I really liked because of their experience of learning time, and I got into Northeastern's honors program, uh, and they gave me a lot of money, so that was a really good option. Uh, with the service academies, they're like, um, it's like paid for the, paid for by the taxpayers, so it's like free college, but you have to serve five years after. Um, if you guys want to know more about that, let me know down in the comment section 
below. Uh, but so Northeastern, I decided to remove because I decided that I didn't want to. I did want to serve in the military, but this is where I probably would have went uh, Northeastern Honors Program uh, if I wanted to go to a uh, civilian college. But uh, they have like really cool stuff, experiential learning, studying abroad a lot, and uh, like working while you study and stuff. But eventually, I just came down to. Sorry, eventually I just came down to uh, between the two service academies. This was a pretty tough choice uh, for me. Um, so the Air Force Academy, you commission as an Air Force officer. West Point, you commission as an Army officer uh, upon graduation for both. Uh, Air Force Academy is in Colorado Springs. Uh, West Point is in New York. So there are definitely pros and cons to each. Um, but after just talking to a lot of people that went to both, uh, and knowing that I did not want to be a pilot, I chose um, what I think would be like the more disciplined or challenging uh, choice for me. Um, but obviously, you know, that's just subjective, like just from what I, I gathered um, with all the research into both. Visit, I visited both too, uh, and I chose to go to the United States Military Academy at West Point. So, that is where I will be in the fall studying classes. Um, I forgot to applause. So in the fall, I will be studying, uh, taking classes at the United States Military Academy at West Point. I actually will be there in a week to start my uh, summer training. Uh, there is something called R Day, which is like reception day. Um, it'll be the Monday after my high school graduation. And then I start Peace Barracks training pretty much the whole summer. And then I think uh, mid to late August, I start classes. So that will be, that'll be pretty much the summer and then starting classes, yeah. Uh, so I'm super excited. And if you have any questions about service academies or about any of the other schools or how to get in, um, or if we reach another milestone in subscribers, then I will uh, let you know my stats or whatever if you wanna know that. Um, and if you have any questions, leave it down below but I will be at West Point. So thank you for tuning in to my video. Uh, thanks again, guys, for reaching 50 plus subscribers. Huge milestone. Um, Rexy, say bye. All right, peace.